What's up everyone? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome back. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe. Yes, and we are so excited because we are officially parents. We mom and dad now. Mom and dad. It's <laughs> It feels like a dream because I just, I don't feel like it's real yet. No. And I don't think we've been sleeping enough. So that's wrong. My eyes are like this. Sleep. <laughs> Let please. me tell you, everyone's <laughs> advice to us before we had Zaya, they're like, make sure you get your sleep because you will not sleep once your parents. So yeah. I get it. Especially because you're breastfeeding. So it's literally like. So the past two weeks, I've been breastfeeding, I've been pumping, we've been burping her, changing diapers. I've changed a million diapers. Like... I'm on diaper duty, so <laughs> I'm holding it down over here. Yes, and it's it's been so amazing, a lot of learning as we go, and it's crazy that they say, you know, women get the mommy instincts right away, which is so true because I have never taken care of a newborn. And that's what I was really nervous about, why we took classes. Right. And it's, it's insane how you just, go into mommy mode and the classes definitely helped us yeah. somewhat but you still like it kicks in quick yes but the yes. classes we definitely learned some good things yes what's funny is you know if you guys haven't seen our baby 101 classes don changed a diaper on the doll <laughs> it's completely different on the way baby. different oh way different <laughs> but you learned you I'll learned learn, how to put the diaper on but on a baby when there's poop different. shooting out like and <laughs> that was, coming out first of, that was don's first experience changing her diaper <laughs> she was like pooping in the middle of a change so he was freaking out and was like we need to call a nurse in here i said no don you have to learn you're a dad now you gotta change these diapers but he's like an expert at changing diapers now. i got so it a lot now but the first one <laughs> i needed help yes yeah, so i hit that red alert button quick you're killing it you're killing it babe so the first two weeks we are so happy everyone in the house is so full of joy and it's just Great energy, you know, having your baby. So today we're going to be sharing our birth experience with you guys. First off, her due date is January 24th <laughs> and she came on the 4th. And okay, so rewinding back to January 3rd, the morning of January 3rd at 8 a.m. I was sleeping and I felt my water like break. Like I wasn't sure if I was just peeing in the bed or whatever, what, what it, whatever it was, <laughs> I felt something, flowing. I jumped up and it just splashed on the floor like how it happens in the movies. And I thought it only happened in the movies, but it happened in real life. Like I was like, wait, this is really happening. I screamed, I was like, Don, oh my God, my water, I think it just broke. He ran in, he was getting ready for a shoot. I'm so glad he didn't leave yet. Oh my God, I was out the door. <laughs> I I was freaking out. I didn't know for sure, but once it happened, like I I felt it. I felt like kind of a, a flow of water just go down, and then like Don rushed out and he went downstairs and told the parents. And I just ran into the shower. I was like, All right, wait, this is not what I envisioned. Literally, we just packed our uh, hospital bags. Yo, if y'all seen, if y'all haven't seen our previous video, we did a video about packing our hospital bags. And that was literally the night, before. the night before. Yeah, the night before we packed our hospital bags and luckily it was already packed. So we just grabbed the bags and left. Oh so that morning I showered and as I got out the shower, water was still coming out. I was just thinking that, please baby, do not come right this minute. Like I, it, it's different for everyone. They say that if the water breaks, it doesn't, the baby doesn't always come out right away. And sometimes it does. So I just didn't know. Again, we are first time parents. This was our first baby. So I, I didn't know what to expect. I was just scared and nervous and freaking out. And yo, as this. soon as I've seen Leanne come around the corner, call my name, <laughs> like my, I'm in the mindset of I'm going to do a photo shoot. I'm leaving the house. So when I came and I just seen a puddle of water everywhere, <laughs> it was, it felt like a movie. We looked at each other and we're like, it's happening. It's happening. It's, it's happening. happening. Oh my God. Thank you. Ran and downstairs. I ran, I ran to grab, tell her parents. So they were super calm about it. They were like jumping for joy and I was over here just freaking out. But they were telling me like, you're fine. How Do you feel the contractions? You don't have to rush to the hospital. Just get something to eat. So I just told them I wanted to go the food. I want to get some breakfast and take it with me to the hospital. And so we got to the hospital at 9 a.m. So it was like an hour. We rushed to the hospital because I didn't want to wait long. So we got there and they checked how far I was dilated and I was only dilated one centimeter. So I wasn't feeling any contractions at all. They were happening though, which was crazy to me. They were happening every four minutes. Yeah. So the contractions were happening. I wasn't feeling it. So from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. 
they checked how far I was dilated and I was only dilated two centimeters. So I was bouncing on a yoga ball. I was trying to get this going. Like, what can I do to help speed up this process? Because we were there all day. I was expecting her to come that day. I mean, so, yeah, when, in, in our minds, like when the water breaks, we think the kid is coming. Like we didn't realize it was going to be like a waiting game. So we were in there chilling. We were yeah. doing laps in the in the room. I know. We she were doing yoga stretches. On the yoga ball. We were doing breathing it just, techniques. It was it was insane. <laughs> so we were just really excited. And so they also gave me some pills to help soften up my cervix because they said I had like a thick cervix. They gave me that and then also Pitocin. They gave me Pitocin, which is what helps me speed up my contractions so my so I can dilate faster. After they gave me that, they also asked me how I was feeling and asked me if I wanted to have the epidural. So once I started feeling the contractions get stronger, which feels like just strong cramps, I was like, let me just get the epidural now because my friends that have had babies before, they're like, don't wait till it hurts really, really bad because then you won't be able to sit still because you mm -hmm. have to sit super still for the epidural, which to everyone, like my experience for the epidural, it wasn't that bad for me. Everyone's pain tolerance is different. I give it up to the moms out there that just go natural all the way with no epidural because I was already in pain at two centimeters dilated. <laughs> so I give it up to you guys for going natural. Whoever has done that, like it's really my mom did, and I can't believe she was yeah, natural all for parents, me and yeah. my sisters. Mm -hmm. Once I got the epidural, I felt completely paralyzed from the hips down. I could not feel anything. I felt pressure, like if you touch my leg, I can feel it, but I don't feel it. It's the weirdest That's crazy. thing. So from like 8:30 to 4 a.m. So what happened between that period? I obviously was dilating, but they would come in and like flip me over back and forth, which would help the baby like go down faster, I guess. We try to get some rest. The doctors advise, they're like, look, try to get as much rest as you can in this window because once the baby comes, you're not going to be sleeping. So it was pretty cool because they had like a pullout bed for me. He but was it, comfortable. He was chilling. But even still, yeah, like we would get like blanky, an hour of sleep at a time. I didn't. I honestly was so excited and nervous and i was filled with adrenaline i was relaxed yes i was like i'm like babe just kind sleep of napping a little, bit. a little bit but it's like when you're in the hospital you hear the beeping noise the nurses come in yeah, they're refilling your iv and doing all these things and these machines making noises like it was just so much going on but i was able to relax and also we had some relaxing music and also we had our flameless candles which is we, we, we had a vibe. created a vibe we created which the vibe. helped me relax but again i was just really really nervous and Obviously, again, it's my first baby, so I was just yeah. so I was so excited. So when it hit 4 a.m., I was officially in active labor. I was in I was eight centimeters. You were like eight dilated. centimeters dilated. So we waited a little bit longer. They were getting me ready to push because they were like, "All right, you're almost there. So by 6 a.m., you're going to be 10 centimeters dilated." So I was just sitting there like, "Holy crap, it's about to happen! Like it's <laughs> happening! It's gonna happen!" I mentally was preparing myself. By 6 a.m., I was already dilated to 10 centimeters, and then they're like, "Okay, we're gonna get you practicing to push." So they popped my legs up, and they were like helping me breathe, and they were telling me how to push. And let me just tell you, pushing was the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm thinking, oh, this is gonna be easy. I'm just, I'm just gonna push this baby out. Like I, I work out, I'm strong, my, you know, my core is strong. Like it's just, it's a different kind of strength, especially going for hours without eating. I only yeah. had ice chips and some honey sticks that kind of helped me get some sugar, which was a good advice for my friend, Laura. She was saying like, just you can eat some honey sticks to give you some sugar. Some people eat, I guess they say through labor, but I just was, I didn't want to eat too much, you know, just because if anything were to happen, they say if you go into a C-section or whatever emergency yeah. C-section, you just don't want to have food in your stomach. I didn't want to get sick and throw up. So I really didn't want to eat anything. So I was hungry. I was exhausted already by that point. And then pushing, which I pushed for 30 minutes. To me, it felt like forever. Yeah. But the nurses said that it was actually really fast. She was like, I'm getting this baby out. I'm pushing <laughs> the right way. <laughs> and the pushing, like you have to, like you don't even feel your legs because you have your epidural. So you're just pushing so I'm not just knowing what's happening. hoping that I'm pushing. Happening. And I was asking the nurses, I'm like, nurse, do, am, is it making a difference? Like, am I pushing hard enough? Like, I don't even know, but they were, they were very supportive. I watched the whole thing. 
the pushes were working. I was sitting there like, baby, it's working. Okay, I just have to say, I was so shocked that Don watched the birth. Cause Don is, he gets grossed out over a paper cut. So I'm like, you really watched and he filmed it. So. I filmed it, I watched it, I How did you it. feel like seeing? You, you know what's crazy is like, I thought I was gonna be grossed out. And I was like, I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do it. But as soon as I like, heard the doctor say that they could see hair. I was like so intrigued and I was like, where? And then I seen some hair and I'm like. It was just, it and was I'm just so crazy. And then I just couldn't stop and I was in it. So the way they had me push was, it was just so exhausting because you have to push for 10 seconds straight, three times in a row, only one breath in between every 10 seconds. So you're like, all right, 10, nine, eight. So, so literally pushing 10 seconds and then breathe in and do it again, like back to back to back in every contraction and again like i'm pushing so hard i felt like my eyeballs are about to pop out of my face and it was just the hardest thing but it was it was so rewarding to finally have her come and just like it just happened so it was just the most magical and surreal experience i've ever had but by far so don filmed it and we're going to share it with you right now so here it is Relax, relax, honey. Take a deep breath. Breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Slow. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh my God. It's out, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. gosh you guys it was the most emotional feeling like I envisioned this like I already had pictured it in my mind how she was going to come like manifesting a smooth peaceful delivery it was smooth it was kind of peaceful because I was just really I mean it was peaceful for the most it part it was but... peaceful but I was still like going through it <laughs> but it was the best experience like seeing her face for the first oh time God. and they just put her on me and I hear her cry for the first time, I lost it. Like every time I see that video, I tear up every time. Like it's- I can't believe it still. And my mom was like the one in the background, like, oh, you got this. I breathe, was crying too. Breathe. Like Dawn was going As soon as crying. I see the baby, me and mom, her mom were just like, ah! <laughs> y'all can probably hear me. I'm like, ah! but, but I'm so surprised that you were able to film it. Like you were in the moment and you were filming it. I just it. had to do it. I Steady hand. <laughs> he did it. He did it. I was so happy that he got that because it's something that we are going to treasure forever. And I'm just like, I'm again, we're so happy that she is here and she is healthy. Like I'm feeling good. I'm recovering, and it just happened so fast. It's so true. They say it would happen fast, and it did. It's, it goes real quick. Like it's only been two weeks, but it's already been two weeks. Yeah. Like these yeah. two weeks went by fast. It did. It's so refreshing and like the feeling of her finally being here and being able to hold her. And like we, yes. I just, we just be looking at her and like, I, you know, it's, it's just, we just stare crazy. at her. We stare at her breathe. We just laugh at all her facial expressions. Like having a baby is truly the most amazing, amazing thing you can ever have in this world. Like having a newborn baby just bless your life like this is huge. No, like our mentality, our focus, it's all for her now. Everything that we do. Yeah, everything is about her. Just in these two weeks, I see what parents mean when they say, watch how the entire focus is on your kid. Or like our parents, how they're like, We're, we always worry about you. Like we can see it now. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's hard to even go to sleep because we're just sitting there like staring. And like... I miss her. Like, you know what's weird? When I got home from the hospital, so we have a night nurse that helps us at night. So I've been breastfeeding and nursing her, but at night I'm able to, I've been pumping, so I've been able to give her my breast milk to give her breast, breast milk at night. So I've been able to sleep longer at night. But the first night I 
started crying and I know the hormones and everything is all over the place but I was crying in the room and Don came in and I was like what's wrong I'm like I miss her and he's like she's right down the hall I said but I miss her in here like I missed her in my belly I felt so empty has anyone ever experienced that to any mothers out there when you just gave birth and you go home and it's like she's not in your belly anymore is that like a normal thing I don't know but it just felt like a detachment because I was so used to falling asleep with her in my belly and moving and just it's just crazy it's it feels good to not be pregnant because I can like finally sleep on my back. She's sleeping like I'm this like, now. <laughs> she like hey move like, over. It I'm feels like... good. I feel lighter and, <laughs> and everything, and I can actually hug and cuddle Dawn without this belly in the way. But again, like it did feel weird not having her in my belly, but now I can hold her, and it's just it's the best feeling ever. And we're just so grateful and happy that she's here. We're so excited to go on this journey with you guys. Yes. I know you guys have watched from the very beginning. From the beginning, And there's everything. so many different, it's crazy that the phases of life that has happened just over the last couple of years. And we're excited to take this new journey and it's gonna be crazy how fast we see this little girl grow. No, I don't want it to go too fast. So any parents out there, please send any advice or yes. tips or tricks you have for raising a newborn. I know we are learning how to put her on a sleep schedule and eating schedule, but we want to keep her as peaceful and happy as possible. So, <laughs> yes. any parents out any there who got the let tricks, us know. let us know. <laughs> yeah, we're so excited to just learn and absorb all of this information. And I feel like we've been really doing well, taking yeah. everything one day at a time. Mm -hmm. And again, like the mommy mode, the daddy mode, everything just kind of went in. The instincts it of it, in. it's just, it's crazy. And I'm super protective. I can't even sleep at night. Even when I know that she's okay, I'm still just wanting to watch her breathe and, and make sure she's okay. Like, it's just, it's crazy being a mom. Now I get it. I get why my mom's kind of crazy over me. We're very, very excited. And we are grateful for all the love and support that you guys have given us so far. All the comments, the messages, the love, and just all of the beautiful words that you guys give to us online. Like, thank you so much for watching. Should we bring Zaya in? Y'all wanna, okay. wanna meet Zaya? You guys wanna meet Zaya? Alright, let's go get her. Okay, we'll be right back. Alright guys, introducing <laughs> the newest member of the family, Zaya oh Zaya! She just woke up from her nap, it's time to feed her. <laughs> but say hi say everyone! Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Zaya. Oh my gosh. We're so, so happy that she's here. Hey everyone, good morning. It is January 3rd, 8.40 a.m. Me and Donna on our way to the hospital. <sighs> my water just broke, so I'm like freaking out inside, but I'm excited and nervous. You're coming, Zaya. You're about to come out with us. You couldn't wait, huh? You say you ready now. <laughs> it's your time. You're already bossing us around. You already ain't listening. Okay. Let's see where this is going. <laughs> She's like a little toy. <laughs> it's almost time for her oh feeding. Gosh. No, it's time right now, actually. Is it? So we gotta go. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure y'all hit yes. that subscribe. We love you. We will see you soon. Bye, Zaya. Peace out. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.